Well, hey there, this is Jerry, and I'm bringing you another episode of What's Broke Today. That today I've got a uh, 2020 model year. It's a right stander, it's a ZK52. It's got the 37 horse Vanguard uh, EFI motor on it, and uh, he wants a valve adjustment done. So, um, and let's see, we're at. almost a thousand hours so and somewhere I probably wrote on here I think I did this already on this once and that was at uh, 500 hours so um, I didn't get the book out and look but I if I understood him right it did say in the book to do this every 500 hours so he just wanted to get it done before mowing season started since he's so close um, and basically tools I need, uh, a feeler gauge, I got to remove the spark plugs, um, and I got to pull the valve covers. Um, I think I'm going to set the camera, I'm going to do the time lapse mode again. I'm going to see if I can adjust it and slow it down a little. Because when I was doing it on the trailer, it was actually a little too fast. So I'm going to see if I can slow it down, and um, I'm going to do that while I'm taking the valve covers off. So be back shortly. Now, I don't know if you noticed in the last segment while I was taking it apart. This is our exhaust bracket off the other side. And uh, I'm going to have to uh, weld it back together. Or um, might just see how much a new one costs. It might be just as easy to replace it as to buy a new one. But we'll see. But, okay, so um, when I was taking this apart... Naturally, I uh, I put rags underneath this to catch the oil because of you know the more I catch, the less mess I make, the less I got to clean up. And here we go. I think I heard another car. Let's see if they make it this far. Yeah, I can't tell. But, okay, alright. So we get back to our valve adjust. When we adjust these, we need the engine to be on top dead center. Oh, here it comes. Oh, that's a Camaro. I have never seen that one before. But to get on top dead center, I'm just going to Watch our valves, of course, our top one is the intake, the bottom one's the exhaust. So I'm just going to roll the motor by hand, and there's the intake opening, closing, and we should come up on compression. Then we'll open our exhaust, open our intake, then when our intake closes, I'm just going to take my screwdriver, stick it up in the cylinder a little ways, and feel for the piston I'm going to adjust it till both valves are closed and the piston is on top dead center and then of course the one thing I did before I started videotaping this episode even though I was 90% sure what the valve clearance should be um, 
I went ahead and looked it up to make exactly sure for this Vanguard engine just because I mean it valve clearance is important <laughs> so if the valves aren't open and closing right the engine typically doesn't run right so I'll get my feeler gauge I've got the four thousandths the five thousandths and the six thousandths and I want the six to be super tight and the four to slip kind of easy and I'm just going to take this and insert it in between the tip of the valve stem and the rocker arm and I'll take our six and it slides super easy on the intake and it's relatively snug on the um, exhaust so then I'll grab my uh, 13 millimeter wrench ratchet with my star bit adapter and I think they're 35 thousandths are T35 Torx and we got a lock nut and the adjusting screw we're gonna put our Torx in and what I'm gonna start out with is this really isn't the wrench I want but I need to get in there and loosen that nut just a little okay when you have trouble getting that loose sometimes it's easier to just go get a socket um, one thing I really like is you got the wrench that kind of is a uh, s-shaped where you know the heads offset but I don't know where that's at so we'll just loosen that like that and then since I'm adjusting it, that's where my five actually comes in. Now I'm going to put the five down in there. And just, I mean, when we're talking about adjusting this, I mean, I mean, I am just barely turning that. And, all right, so I just barely turn it. I got my drag. And I can hear the Camaro coming back. Now the one thing I'm going to do is when I actually tighten this nut, I'm going to put the ratchet like I'm loosening to use it to hold that Torx so it doesn't turn and Come on, get on it. Cause see like there, I got my five. You put it in there and it's got quite a bit of drag. And I'll take my six. And I can't hardly get it in there. So we're gonna call that good and I think we will go ahead and do a little on the exhaust since I'm here. Okay. The main thing is never go tighter than your four thousandths. Because if it's too tight, it'll actually hold the valve open. And we do not want that. Ashes it look yeah. I don't think I got it I accomplished anything on that one, so let's loosen that back up. And watch for cat hair in your valves after you get done because as you can see my assistant got right in the way. Alright, let's go back to our five. Take my wrench off. Okay. 
I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put the reverse the ratchet. Try and keep that from turning. And so far, so good. That's perfect. And of course, last thing, and I got my paint pen. I don't have to do the wash the pissing, and I'm gonna turn this two revolutions. There's one. And I lined it back up with the screen where that bolt went on. And then there's our six. And I'm going to get back on the other side. Take our six and super tight. Super tight. And now I'll go to our, our four. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And like these feeler gauges, the ones I use the most, I bend them a little so it's easier to hold them and get them stuffed down in there. And once I get this side set, I'm going to take my paint pen and all my tools and we'll move over to the other side. I'll do all the same thing over here that I just did over there. I'm going to turn this, and luckily right now the exhaust is wide open. It's going to close. Then the intake's going to open. And once it closes, I'll bring the piston right up the top dead center. And we're done with that. Then we'll take our feeler gauge again and we'll come here and let's see, there's our six. That's got quite a bit of gap and so does that. my five and we never want that nut completely loose but I mean, just the slack and the threads can be four or five thousandths of an inch of gap on the tip of the valve. Okay. See on this side getting that um, this wrench in here is kind of tight. 
So I definitely got to find that offset wrench for these, because then I could, I can do it out this way. So then if I do that, then I always want to come here and make sure I'm not too tight. And that's great. Six is super, yeah, super tight. Okay, and then I can make my red mark up here. Now it's kind of almost pointing at this gap in between the plastic, so I'll just come here and go one. Two full turns. There's my six, and it is super snug, and my four is nice and smooth, so yeah, that's all there is to it, other than wiping up some oil. Um, I think I'm going to do some cleaning and get ready to put um, the valve covers back on, that I can completely put that side together. And uh, I'm going to look up this exhaust bracket on this side just to see. And then um, I'll do the uh, time lapse again when I go to bolting stuff on. Okay, so to get our bracket repaired, what I've done is got a piece of angle iron, clamped it in the vise. Then I'm going to do one at a time. But, you know, I can't weld on top and then grind it off and uh, have a weld left. So what I'm going to do is, where it's cracked at, I'm going to take my uh, cutoff wheel and just basically cut a groove down in that. Oh. Cut a groove down in it. And then I'm going to weld the groove. And then I can unclamp it. And where I get it basically all the, not 100% back together, but close. And then I'll take and flip it over here. And actually, I'm going to get my wire brush. Yeah. Not a hundred percent all the way penetration, but pretty close. Hmm. This time it'll be a lot gentler uh, grind down through there. And then we'll just go do the same thing. And then all I gotta do is just smooth it up. And I'm 
Alright. And don't touch the hot metal. So yeah, I can take that and grind it down and should be good to go and then I'll just take this and come over here and clamp it down. And it's just like a puzzle, so all I gotta do is just line up the pieces. I'm going to take the paint off this time. Because some of the spattering I got last time was because of the paint. Oh yeah, that sounded a lot better. And I clamp this down the way I do because that way it doesn't, um, it keeps it straight after a weld. <laughs> so, yeah, so we take that off. Because I do some grinding on this side because I burnt, you know, clear through. So, yeah, but I'll let that cool just a little. And then I'll put a grinding wheel in this and cut her down. All right, getting ready to go back together. And I uh, got new gaskets. And uh, I'm going to try to put some thread lock on the bolts. Because, you know, while I was cleaning up the rocker covers, you know, they had been leaking a little. And the bolts weren't super tight. Hot engine, thread lock. I eh, usually don't go good together, but we're going to try. And then our bracket, I got it welded together, ground down, and painted. Um, I'm going to get the camera set up in time lapse mode. And um, yeah, we're going to put this thing back, rest of the way back together. All right, we got her all put back together. Now, another thing I do, like, I don't know if you notice, when I put this together, I snug this where it's got the, you know, the metal up against the metal. And I tighten these before I completely tighten this one. Just so, because I got a feeling that maybe why that bracket was broke because it's under extra stress. Now, I did go ahead and put a new set of spark plugs in it. Ash, you're not going to like this. Ash. Alright, let's see how she sounds.
pretty good that uh yeah a lot of what I was doing here is letting it run because I get oil on the exhaust so warm it up so it burns off now instead of um, while he's out uh, uh, using it but yeah that all looks really good also I think that'll wrap up our uh, valve adjust on our right stander that um, next we got to go I got his other right stander in the back room um, I think the needle valve and seat on the carburetor is bad and it's getting gas down in the oil um, we're gonna go back and take that apart next just so we can do some monitoring but um, I'll say I appreciate you watching um, we always love those thumbs up for the likes um, yeah thanks for all the comments especially the positive comments um, I really appreciate those um, also love the questions that um, I'll say if you're not a subscriber come on and join on in because uh, no telling what else you're gonna see on what's broke today thank you